Salut les amis Alors nous voici de retour sur le let's play de Kingdom Hearts 3 Toujours en compagnie de nos joyeux compagnons oh, Ça commence par du persil à ramasser What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. <sighs> hey there! <gasps> <gasps> Thanks for the heart attack! Oh, what? Did I scare you? So how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> nope, afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep, this old mansion is our last hope. You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. Yeah. Here we go. Bel ordinateur. J'aimerais bien voir le même. The password was uh, sea salt ice cream, right? Okay, I'm in. Let's get that transporter working. Uh, uh. Oh man, the transporter's been protected. Protected from what? I guess from us. We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Uh, huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah. But how do you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know any slug. Oh, and what? You do? <laughs> I know I haven't got a clue. <laughs> yep. Then, uh... Who was it that logged in? Oh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so... I can't uh... run it. Which program? Uh... The transporter to the other Twilight Town. Uh... It's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm-hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence, let's get a network set up. 
My address here is... Okay, sharing is enabled. <gasps> huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas's full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh... Basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. Glad you're following along. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chippendale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Oh? You think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> Later, Sora. Yeah, see ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pence. <laughs> hey! Hmm. <laughs> Hello. So what's next? What's on the other side? What's on the other side? What's on the other side? What's Handsome! Oh. Samness! Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just Data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside Data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Huh? Ansem and Xemnas used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. Mm. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah! Yeah, you tell them, Captain Goofy! 
Bien joué, Dingo. In that case, by all means. Nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish? He'll never answer to you again. Still so blind. A nobody is what's left behind. When one gives his heart to darkness, there is only one way to bring Roxas back, which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. <gasps> Il va y avoir de l'action. Now, set your heart free. Wait! Sora! It's not darkness. Not if it helps him. Laisse-le partir. Try this! That was so long. Back off. Here we go. Hey, she'll make a call. Ouais, Donald doit finir le temps que je ramasse. Herc said. He said, with all my heart. Ok. Then all my heart it is. I'm getting Roxas out. Are you with me? Donald? Goofy? <coughs> you I don't Et know moi, what Ansem and Zemnis want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. Okay then. Let's head back to town. Hmm. Need to try and get up with him or him or not. Let's party. Oh, j'ai un petit coffre là-bas. Bah déjà s'occuper des sans cœur. Comme quoi c'est bien moche quand même quelqu'un qui n'a pas de cœur. Hein. Quand tu vois la tête des sans cœur. J'avais vu un coffre par là, si j'ai pas de bêtises. Ouais, il est là. Ben.
Jag kan du på. Nå, no. ja, där är jag på. Ja. On est plus nombreux les gars. Oh, j'en ai entendu. Ouais, on l'a. Hop, un petit coup de foudre. champignons ah, voilà hop là une petite glissade ah un emblème fétiche on va monter là ah bah oui il est juste là ok let's see Hop, c'est fait. Et nous revoilà en ville. Belle cinématique. Well, bless my bagpipes. It was you laddies who rescued my chef. I can't do straws. Huh? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler. Cool. <laughs> How are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge. What's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm. What is it? Wow! Cake! Joli gâteau. The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. 
the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh it's you! Uncle Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on time. Aye. It all started a little while ago, when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun. Kind of like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. <laughs> that tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. J'ai pas envie de cuisiner, moi je veux casser du sang coeur. Little Chef needs more ingredients. We better keep an eye out. That new bistro was a seriously craving ice cream. On partir. Yes! Ah, sérieusement, Pixou, t'abuses là. We can't leave. Little Chef still needs our help. Ah. Désespoir de l'apprenti cuisinier. ne servira à rien parce qu'il nous a envoyé chercher ses ingrédients. Il nous a pris pour son coursier.
Hope we find some ingredients around here. Yes! It's got skin. Nice moves! Oh, oh. Yes! Continue le coffre, on va les faire sans le vouloir. Ah bah voilà. Voilà, voilà. On a les neuf. Hey! Guys! Oh. Painter! Olette! Uh, hey boss, uh, done with the posters. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the Bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There. You've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You download this, Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Gore, she sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh, yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. It's our job! But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy, Kyrie, brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same, and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case... We'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. Il s'agit d'un jeu du Royaume Classique. Vous pouvez y jouer sur le Gumiphone. Ok. Keyblade accès sur la magie. Changement de forme, lanceur magique. Étoile filante. On va l'équiper. Il accède cuisine dans le menu principal pour manger des plats et bénéficier de bonus de stats. D'accord. Tant qu'on est là, on va vérifier. 
pagina a me piace qua penser un peu au Pokémon Watch pour ceux qui connaissent. Ok, donc là la suite c'est pas le monde. Ok donc on peut repartir. Bah, ce fut court ici, ce fut court. On va faire une petite sauvegarde. va repartir du coup il n'y avait rien d'exceptionnel à y faire finalement ici à part avoir de vieux amis ce qui est toujours agréable aussi en soi je suis désolé de ne pas dire bye est-ce que le maître Yen a dit à vous je suis en train de devenir un wielder de clé comme vous c'est vrai pas plus d'attendre pour que vous reviendrez de vos aventures je veux aller dans le monde et faire ma part pour vous aider Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before. And some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy. But I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. wrong huh uh, nothing sorry Lee what I am <laughs> a letter yep to Sora mm, technically yes but I won't send it it's more for me Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah, but it's okay. I just like talking to Sora, even if it's on paper. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah, I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know. We did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet. Il sort de ses poches, lui. Il est sérieux. Nah. What? Uh, nothing. I just... 
You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? <sighs> Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? <laughs> Call me Axel from now on. Got it? Memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. Voilà, Mickey avec nous. So, this is the place where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah, she said he was acting strange. Strange, how exactly? She sensed darkness in him, and they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Handsome the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own, hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization, the real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam when Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way! That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us Another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, 
Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay. But Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's because Master Xehanort's collecting vessels. He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yep, and Merlin too. Yeah. Passerelle de nouveau monde sont ouvertes. Ah bah ben ça c'est cool. Pour visiter un nouveau monde, vous devez le rejoindre à bord de votre vaisseau Gumi. Une fois que vous l'aurez rejoint, vous pourrez vous y téléporter quand vous le souhaiterez. Vous avez déverrouillé l'option visiter le bistrot. Vous pouvez désormais vous rendre au restaurant du petit chef depuis la carte du monde. N'oubliez pas qu'il vous faut des ingrédients pour pouvoir cuisiner. D'accord. Bon bah écoutez les amis, on va se, se laisser là sur euh, un gameplay qui fut plus riche en, en cinématique qu'en action. Vous m'envoyez désolé. Gageons que la prochaine planète euh, sera plus dynamique. Allez je vous souhaite une bonne soirée, une bonne nuit ou une bonne journée, suivant quand est-ce que vous verrez la vidéo. Et à bientôt. Salut, salut